belongs isn't me anymore. I'll be someone the world has never seen before. I can see me someday smiling as I say that my brand new life began with this play. I was lost. the glow of a new success surrounds me. How could she stay away? She'll see the light someday. Someday. Till today I've only dreamed and dreaming's lonely. Let me hear her say she needs me too. I'll hear her if my dreams are coming true. Coming true. I see it coming. I ought to take you out to dinner, I guess. I'm through with eating. Nowhere too fancy, I guess this evening. We've got a million things to do, so please say yes. I got a future, so who needs dinner? I'm gonna quit this place and go live somewhere real. Go together. And be an actress and wear a trench coat. In, say, a year or two. of evenings dedicated to rare and inspiring songs, anecdotes, and photos from underappreciated musicals. That was Patty Murin Holbrook and Jason Michael Snow singing Coming True from the musical Birds of Paradise. Opening in 1987 at the Promenade Theater Off-Broadway, Birds of Paradise was the first musical most people know that came out of the NYU Graduate Musical Theater Writing Program. Interesting. Yeah. Um, the show was by Winnie Holzman and David Evans, and it was directed by Arthur Lawrence. Um, it was about a group of, wait for it, amateur actors who are putting on a musical production of Chekhov's The Seagull in a church basement in Maine. Got it. Okay. Um, as one critic, Walter Goodman said, all eight characters are in love or out of love with somebody or with themselves or with the theater, and now and then they sing about it. Aww. That's hilarious. They're dancing penguins right there, yes, right? Yes, penguins must sing, and Barbara Walsh is watching. In, re in reviewing the show's cast recording, critic Jeffrey Dunn praised the intricate, catchy melodies and intelligent, witty lyrics of the show, and went on to say, from start to finish, the cast sings and acts as if they have discovered a pot of gold. I love that. Uh, the cast included Todd Graff. There you go. Yeah. Is that Aaron clapping? I hope so. My little brother Aaron and I, my honorary little brother Aaron, we are obsessed with Todd Graff, and we talk about fun Todd Graff trivia facts, so here's one for you. He's in Birds of Paradise. Um, along with... <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, along with Mary Beth Peel, uh, Donna Murphy, Barbara Walsh, and Krista Moore. So, great cast. Awesome. Uh, as Theater Week said, all of them get work and respect in the business, but how many of them would you recognize at Gristides? I think that's a strange thing to say. I would totally recognize Todd Graff and Gristides, and I think all of you would too. Um, and I would totally recognize Grams. Come on. Grams from Dawson's Creek and Barbara Walsh. Throw her in there too. All of them. <laughs> um, actually, 
Actually, the song you just heard was sung by Todd and Krista's characters at the beginning of the show, and I have been obsessed for years with that lyric. I'm gonna be an actress and wear a trench coat because she's like the small town girl. She thinks that's what being an actress is. It's like wearing a trench coat. I love that so much. That's it, indeed. The show was on. That's Winnie Holtzman. We would also recognize her in Mercedes because she wrote Wicked, right? She totally wrote Wicked. Her hair. Um, indeed, the show was unpretentious, a one-set, low-cost musical with a young cast, and it wore its heart on its sleeve about show business. On closing night, after just 29 previews and 24 performances, Todd Graff stepped forward at curtain call and delivered a brief speech, speaking about how fiercely the cast believed in Birds of Paradise. His list of acknowledgments ended, he smiled winningly, sort of shrugged, and the stage darkened on Birds of Paradise for the last time. But, side note, are you listening? Todd Graff made sure that the spirit of Birds of Paradise lived on, and he even featured a song from the show in the background during a movie he later directed. Amazing, and they talk about it. I totally thought the music was fake when they mentioned it. They were like, that's from Birds of Paradise, and I was like, that's not real. It and is. years later, I was like, Kevin, it's real. It's so real, and we're gonna get Patty and Jason to sing yeah. from it. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> 